Hey guys, HMK here once again in the Kingdom Hearts 3 hype just keeps rolling about. We got two new trailers and a bunch of information from last night's D23 2018 Japan Expo. I am so ready, but I want to do a quick recap of news that may have slipped under the radar in all of this hype. And of course, I'm going to be covering all the news as I can for Kingdom Hearts 3 that came out of D23. So let's get it. The first thing that I wanted to talk about that wasn't really, this is stuff that's outside of the trailers if you just went, went ahead and saw the trailers or whatever so they did come from the more come from with GameSpot that we are getting at least nine worlds in Kingdom Hearts 3 so it could be more than nine apparently in development is shifted around early three uh, middle three and late three but they clarify it saying that doesn't mean that's all of the worlds in Kingdom Hearts 3 so we're getting at least nine perhaps more than nine worlds so I'm ecstatic about that he also said that the reason why they finally showed Rapunzel in this trailer and not back in 2015 when they actually confirmed her world is because they had a lot of time trying to work her hair to be rendered. Apparently, like her really long hair had trouble rendering. So they had a whole team of like 80 plus people working on the models, not just her hair, but working on the models specifically for Kingdom Hearts 3. And it's the biggest production that they're getting people all across from studios helping out with that. Speaking of studios, we do know that the entirety of the Osaka team who uh, developed Dream Drop Distance and Burst by Sleep uh, are working on Kingdom Hearts 3. And now we've got 100, around 100 members of the Tokyo team that is working on Kingdom Hearts 3 as well. It's a lot of people coming together to put out this product for 2018. Let's get it. Furthermore, they clarified that Gummy Ship missions are going to be more in a 360 like scope the best way that i can relay this type of information to you is like you know uh, like Star Wars battle games when you're in the space or even Star Fox games when you're in all range mode which sounds hella exciting they coined this as the type of open world gummy ship and they said that customizations for the gummy ship are returning with a lot more depth I'm so ready to see like coming like you know the fact that gummy ships are coming back is just like it's crazy so Along with the development time of Kingdom Hearts 3, they did say that the early phase worlds are 90% complete and the middle section worlds are currently 60% complete, which is really good because, you know, any number above 50% is really good. No, world yet, no word yet on the ending worlds, but Nomura did say that the end section is something he always wanted to do in Kingdom Hearts ever since of the days of working in Final Fantasy. So, it looks like it's gonna be something grand. If he couldn't put it in the Final Fantasy games, if he couldn't put it in the Power Kingdom Hearts games, we know we're gonna get something big. Other things include that we are getting confirmation that Rare Heartless are returning in Kingdom Hearts 3. And I know from those days of Kingdom Hearts 1 Final Mix, that's... That's, that's horrific, but it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. And I'm gonna end off saying that Nomura and the Square Enix team are coining Kingdom Hearts 3 to be a Kingdom Hearts game in its own league. Thanks to all of the additions of gameplay and combat that we're gonna get in the game. And I'm ecstatic for that. So guys, let me know what you thought about this exciting news. Whatever new news comes out and more stuff, including theories, analysis is coming out. Please hit that subscribe button, like, share, favorite, and most importantly, once again, subscribe to HMK for all of the Kingdom Hearts hype. So until the next video, I've been HMK, and I'll check you guys later. So you haven't subscribed to HMK yet. Don't piss Xemnas off.